Marcus Rashford front and centre. In a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts, will he add more today on EA TV? Well, if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Crystal Palace up against Manchester United. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea between the posts. Casemiro plays with Fred in central midfield. And the strike pair, Anthony Martial, plays together with Marcus Rashford. Well, it might well be a game to save a Manchester United kick-off. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And a goal update to bring you from the Emirates Stadium, Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's now 1-0 with only three minutes played. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. Well, hardly the polish removed from his boots and he's been expelled. Well, all their plans have just been thrown out the window. That's such a poor challenge. Defeat for Manchester United last time out as they lost against Chelsea. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, to lose at home is never a good result. Today they need to play with more fluency, and if they match that with energy, I believe they get at least a draw out of this one. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Rafael Varane. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused, he's a brilliant runner with the ball. He can take on players, he can go past people with ease, and he's got a great shot on him as well. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Throw in to Manchester United. Jadon Sancho. Superb block. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in their last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To clarify, Arsenal have scored in that game. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Will Hughes.
and taking it away. And options in the centre. Just couldn't get it through. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then just look at this finish, Derek. He does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. Difficult to stop him. Ezzy. Connor Gallagher. Firing it towards goal. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And goal news to bring you from the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Everton. They're back level. It's one all with 23 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Well, that's not how they rehearsed it on the training ground. Yeah, and I'm not sure what was going through his mind there. That was a poor decision to shoot from that distance. And a change to the scoreline at Carrow Road. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Norwich City. The shot was ferocious and it went in off the woodwork. They've scored the opener with 25 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Lisandro Martinez. Diogo Dallo on the ball. And he's given us away. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Fred. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Wilfried Zaha. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Diogo Dallo. Sancho now. Fred. And he might be through here. Will he? Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Luka Milivojevic Gallagher Hughes could pull one back here and he does he's thrown his team a lifeline 
The belief is back. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Diogo Dallo. Shaw. An unforced error, you've got to say. Wilfried Zaha. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. He's foiled them on his own. Counter attacking, very much an option. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Diogo Dano. Bruno Fernandes has it. A really sumptuous ball. Martial can be dangerous from this position. Oh, a superb save. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Martial, and the keeper more than equal to the task. Corner kick to United, and an opportunity perhaps for them to make it look even better. Can someone get on the end of this? And clears his lines. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, an influential presence up to this point, Bruno Fernandes. What did you think of what you saw from him? Well, I thought he had a very good first half. And key to that was his movement. Time and time again, he got in behind the opposition and he was a real threat throughout the game. And I'm sure we're going to see more of him in the second half. So the ball moving again, and work to do for Crystal Palace in this second half. Bruno Fernandes, moving into the advanced position. Crossing possibilities, and pull back, and how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Who can they pick out? And cleared away. Sancho, no way through. Martial. And now Shaw. And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Already closing him down here. Bit wasteful from Palace. Casemiro. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Promising sequence. Sends it back. And moving the ball nicely. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Corner kick played in. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending.
Well, I understand there's been a goal in the Chelsea match. Let's hear about that goal from Alex. It's a goal for Watford. They are now behind 2-1 with 57 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And a goal here for Manchester United. They are the big favourites now. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. How about the cross? Puyate takes it on. And somehow kept out by De Gea. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. going to be a story of two substitutes on at the same time for United and he's fired over the corner and denied by the crossbar yeah he does really well to get to the ball first but he just couldn't keep it down but it was close And news of a goal at Anfield. Alex Scott has all the information for us. And it's a goal for Wolves. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. There well, it could be on for him here. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the action underway once more. And it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. He's taken on his opponent here. Well, he has cause to be grateful to his teammate. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. To confirm, Wolves did find... It. Might be a chance here. What a save. Well, no danger now. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Given away by Manchester United. Hughes. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Foul there. Free kick awarded. And the penalty is converted, a goal it is, and now he can exhale. Well, as you'll see, the goalkeeper goes the right way, but he's got absolutely no chance to save this. This is the perfect penalty right into that bottom corner. Current scoreline 4 2. Casemiro lost the ball. Ericsson. Just 10 minutes to go. Rashford couldn't keep it. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment. Oh, Derek, what a great opportunity. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Bruno Fernandes. How far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And we have a goal to update you on in the Brentford game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yep, another goal for Brentford. It was all in the build-up play. Could pull one back here. Oh, another goal! You just cannot keep them down. And it sets up a furious finish. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. If you enjoy high scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Well, sincere apologies to Alex, I must say, because we had to cut her off just when she was in full flow. To clarify, Brentford have scored in that match, and that game is on a knife edge now, level at 2 2. Ericsson. Here's Martial now. This attack looks highly promising. Martial. Sancho Bruno Fernandes Pass after This could finish it Can they slot it home And in it goes From the goalkeeper's point of view So disappointing Well here it is again and I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. It's not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Throw in to Manchester United. Really a very poor ball.
Perfectly positioned. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance all told? Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part. And going forward, there were some really nice incisive plays as well. Good result for them. Well, a meaty role in all of this played by Jadon Sancho. Sensational performance, you've got to say. Stuart, what did you make of his production today? Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.